called You Don't Remember Me. It was performed by Laura O'Neill. Well done. And so, let's see what the panel have to say about that particular. I'm going to come to you, Louis, because... No, John and I'm going to park you for a second because I want to talk about the merits of the singer and the song, and then we'll talk about the the, the, the storm after that because it takes a strong character to to emerge from all that bickering and to perform like that. I think that's pretty impressive. Hopefully, uh, so, uh, um, Adam McDermott, what do you think of that song? Um, well, I have to say when when they sent us the songs to yeah. listen to in advance of the show, I heard that and it I thought it was. It's just kind of consistent the whole way, but actually hearing it live, I thought it was fantastic. I really did. And what changed in the transition from uh, hearing a tape or, or download to live here? Maybe just I thought Billy was going to look and box the head off Louie and it was just a bit charged. <laughs> oh, no, uh, uh, it, was, it was a beautiful performance. Uh, Sammy, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's a Eurovision song. It, it's a, it, it, I could see it on a movie soundtrack. It's yeah. a beautifully performed and yeah. it's kind of it's uh, almost operatic quality about it it was really lovely okay I'm not sure it's your urban song but it was fabulous okay and linda you are an odious little man oh, oh. linda, oh. linda. Oh. the only the only person oh, Louis, that bounces off Louis me. Watch that I, I, I have not made the one comment the only person you were you. damaging up there was your did, I men did i mention the fight hold it down hold it down you, are, you shouldn't be on the panel neither because you're in Louis on Louis' payroll. Let me tell so you You may not be used to dealing with women with brains, but I have a brain. My brain goes into the sky, my heart opens, and Excuse then I me. sing. Excuse me. Hang on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Were you not? Were you not involved? You take a seat. Were you not you involved when Louis was selecting his boy band and Owen Quig came in the final ten? You were Yes, you were! Who was paying okay, your wages okay, then? Okay, really? No, that's enough now. Okay. Now yeah, back to the back to the back to the back. Back, 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 back to the panel. Folks, stop. Back, back. Let, let us, let us, let us, no let, Billy, let us not lose sight of what happened here. A lady sang a song. She's representing her family and her friends. And she's doing her best. Okay, let's not lose sight. Maya Dunphy. So, Maya, the only person talk to me suffering about, here. I want to hear about the song, Laura. please. Laura sounds like That's a girl. That's what I'm talking about. Let's she bring it back so to her. She sounds so beautifully. She's amazing. And let me just say, with, with respect to Louis, no one's going to vote because Louis tells them exactly. to. No one listens to exactly. Louis. Exactly. Exactly. And finally, Louis. Laura is a great singer. She's a fantastic. And I can't believe this is her first time on TV. She did amazing. The song's good. It's very dramatic. And by the way, I don't know what Billy is on, but he's on something, and it's not a good thing. But, because you know, I I used to work I used to work with Alzan as well years ago. But I have no Did you get paid? Eventually. But Linda, honestly, no, the public are in charge. It's not me. Billy, the you're, public. you're just to clarify Billy. Hang on. Just Billy, calm down. No, no, you need to get Billy in Who got Noel to vote to, with 70, 70 million not followers? Me. Okay. Who got Noel to tweet vote on quick? Not today? me. Right. Not okay. Me. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. We're gonna have to move along. One thing, one thing, you're one thing. Crazy. Billy, oh, Billy, I'm not joking. The Irish band I've seen live the most is Aslan, right? So I'll say this from a true place. On the first season of The Voice, there was a chap called Graham who was from Woodland Garden, yeah. best pals with Niall. Yeah. And Niall tweeted of him about him, I'd say, four times a week. And he went out in week three okay, of nine. So the influence so, might be okay, okay, totally. Totally. Okay, Time is moving against us. So we've got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay? Uh, let's, let's find out. We know what's happening uh, in this studio. God help us all. Uh, but uh, let's go backstage, which I presume Marty is uh, considerably uh, less uh, manic, if you like, well, and uh, pl plenty of uh, nice and relaxed. See, it seems to me that we're feeling the love in this room, ladies and gentlemen. Because the amazing, the amazing thing is, this is Laura. Welcome back. Welcome back. Fantastic. That was fantastic. Well done, you. Well done to everybody in here. The thing is, this is the Eurovision Song Contest. Ladies and gentlemen, we feel the love bringing Europe together. You can't bring the studio together. Anymore. No, you can't. It's ridiculous. This is about all of us embracing each other, yes. east and west, north yes. and south, and, and, and feeling the love in the room. So, okay. in here, ladies and gentlemen, are you enjoying your night tonight? Yeah.
there's great talent out here, and everybody is, is cheering everybody else on. The, th the important thing here is that we find the song that's as best as we can find for the Eurovision, and we go to Copenhagen with our heads held high and do the best we can, because we no, want to win this. That's, that's, that's really true. what it's about. That's true. That's and, what it's about. And Marty, are there any yes. spare flak jackets where you're sitting? You yes, wear I'm wearing one inside my very slimming black shirt. Yes. I'll give you a loan. I'll get you one from one of the lads earlier on. Yeah, that and a beer. Yeah. Thanks, Marty. Thank you. See you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> okay. So they are, that is, uh, that's it for the five songs for Eurosong.